and Colleen Lehon takes off the second pitch. Followed by Lehon is going to be catcher Patrick Fowler. Batting third, Brayden Johansson is going to be on the mound for the White Sox. And that one's in the dirt for ball two from Adams. Cleaning up for the White Sox, second baseman John Dominguez. Batting fifth, third base Bryson Knowles. Batting sixth in left field, Will Landers. In right field, batting seventh, Kyle Ikanamides. And that one gets through the third baseman, Zinn, and that's going to be a base hit for Lahan. Looks like Zinn gloved it with the wrong hand there. He's kind of trying to fight off that pain from ball hitting that hand there over at third base. It's going to be a single to start out for the White Sox for the leadoff hitter. Now stepping up to the plate, catcher Patrick Fowler. Batting eighth for the White Sox, center field, Thomas Gillenshaw. And cleaning up, rounding out the lineup at nine, first baseman Owen Smith. Pick off from Adams, and Lehan slides back in safely. Got a nice, hot, windy day out here in Houston, Texas. And the first pitch to Fowler is inside for strike one. Catcher Patrick Fowler working with the runner at first base in Lehan. Lehan takes his lead. And that one in for strike two on Fowler, 0 for 2. As Bums takes a look over at first base, making sure Lehan stays over there. And he is going to try that pickoff attempt. And Kalino slides back in safely. We have a couple of righties on the mound tonight with Adams and Joe Hansen. And that one's hit to the left side and grounded by Granger, the shortstop, but his throw over to second base is over the head of Pierce. Goes into right field, and Swanson gets to it and throws it back to the infield before any more damage is done. Runners on the corners now at first and third for the White Sox. And that's going to be an error on the shortstop, Alex Granger, who just felled the ball, fielded the ball cleanly, but the throw over to second baseman Pierce way high over his head. And it looks like Adams just caught Fowler off at first base. Now they're trying to throw over to third base, and that's going to be a run scored for Lehan. All the way to third on the misplay. So that's going to be one run scored for the White Sox here in the top of the first inning. As Bennett Adams got foul side foul. The winner of tonight's game between the Junior Braves and White Sox advances to the championship game on Saturday for the winner's bracket. And the loser plays in the loser's bracket on Thursday night, which we will be broadcasting. That pitch from Adams is high for ball one. One and one now the count with one out. And this one's popped up. Looks like shallow outfield, late infield. Looks like third baseman Zinn going back on it and he's not gonna find it. And that's going to allow Joe Hansen to get all the way to second base on that air. So Joe Hansen popped it up into shallow left center field. Robertson coming in, but it looked like the shortstop is, or the third baseman Zinn held off Granger and Robertson. Had to go get that ball, and unfortunately, just didn't have a good line of sight on it, and Johansson goes into second off that air. A couple errors hurting the Braves in this top of the first inning. Now the cleanup hitter for the White Sox, second baseman John Dominguez with the runner in scoring position with one out. And Adams shows a move over to second base, making sure Johansson 
stays over there and he's got an eye on him. This time he lifts and throws to the mound, and that one's in there for strike one. One out for the Braves, came off a pickoff attempt from Adams and caught Fowler in the pickle. Here goes another look back from Adams and no throw though from Adams. This time he will throw, but Joe Hansen slides back into second base safely. Adams is set. He throws home, a swing and a miss by Dominguez and that's strike two. Adams would really like to get out of this as has really only given up that single down the third base line that Zinn couldn't handle other than that. It's been his it's been his infield that has hurt him. And he looks back at Johansson then delivers and that's strike three. Johansson does take off, but he gets caught stealing a third from Hutchinson. Hutchinson, the catcher, came up throwing and got Johansson trying to steal on that strikeout from Dominguez, and that's gonna be the third out of the inning. We go to the bottom of the first. Braves trail White Sox one to nothing here on Vibe Live. Bottom of the first inning, White Sox leading the Braves one to nothing. After a couple errors by the Braves shortstop and third baseman, Lehan, or Granger and Zinn, now it's going to be the Braves' chance at the plate to try and catch up here. They're gonna be led off by number 19, shortstop Alex Granger. Granger was one that cost the Braves a run in that first inning, and that one is hit foul down the left field line for strike one. Had an arid throw to second baseman Pierce, and that allowed Lejon to go all the way to third and eventually led him to score in that inning, which is where we're at now in the bottom of the first inning. On the mound for the White Sox, it's gonna be right-hander Brayden Johansson. Right-hander has an 0-1 count, not a Granger. And the pitch, the off-speed pitch, it's going to be a little high, according to home plate umpire Byron Jeter for ball one. Followed by Granger, batting second, it's going to be the pitcher Bennett Adams, batting third, Henry Groves. Cleanup hitter for the Braves, Webb Lewis at first base. And that one's in there for strike two. Batting fifth at third, Oliver Zinn. Batting sixth for the Braves in right field, Will Swanson. Batting seventh in left field, Keen Robertson. Batting eighth over at second base, Lee Pierce. And batting ninth, 
behind the plate, Cooper Hutchinson. And this one's hit into right center field. Granger's going to come around first and have a stand-up double safely as that one found that right center field gap between Gillenshaw and Economids. And it's going to be a leadoff double for the Braves. In the outfield behind Johansson, behind the plate is Cooper Hutchinson, or behind the plate is Patrick Fowler, excuse me, over at first base, Owen Smith, second base, John Dominguez, shortstop, Colino Lejon, third base, Bryson Knowles, left field, Will Landers, center field, Thomas Gillenshaw, and in right field, Kyle Economids. Now stepping up to the plate for the Braves, the pitcher, Bennett Adams, and he swings at the first pitch and hits it right up the middle. Center fielder Gillen Gillenshaw can't get it, and Granger's coming around to score for the first run for the Braves tonight off the RBI single from Adams. Adams able to get to second base on the mishandle fielding job by the center fielder Gillenshaw. Now the Braves have a runner at second base with no outs, and the game is now tied one to one. Johansson now facing Henry Groves. Groves swinging at the first pitch, hits the left side third baseman Knowles. Knowles grounds it and throws over the first base. Really arid throw over the head of Smith. And now that's going to be Groves coming into second base. It's going to be another run scored for the Braves off the air. It's going to go the third baseman, Knowles, on the throw, and Groves is able to get all the way to second base on that mistake. Now coming up to the, bat, uh, to the plate, the left-hander first baseman, Webb Lewis. Johansson with the leg lift, tries to get that off-speed pitch to go in there, but sails high for ball one. Wind's really starting to pick up out here at post Suck Little League as Lewis swings and misses through that one for strike one. One and one now the count. Wind is just blowing straight out in center field today. That center field flagpole. And that's in there for strike two from Johansson. One and two the count now to Lewis. Braves have been aggressive at the plate, swinging most of our swinging at the first pitch. And this one from Johansson, swinging a miss by Lewis, and that's strike three. First strikeout of the game for Johansson, the first out of the inning for the White Sox. Now stepping up to the plate, the right-hander over at third base, Oliver Zinn. Zinn now has a chance to make up for that error in the field he had in the first inning. And Johansson going to come off the mound to check out Groves over his second base, who goes back in standing. A leg lift and another move to second, but no throw from Johansson. As Dominguez trying to hold on Groves there at second. Now the leg lift in the pitch, swing and a miss by Zinn for strike one. And that's strike two to Zinn as he watches that one go past him. Runner at second base in Groves. Braves lead two to one. And that's a swing and a miss from Zinn, strike three. Three pitches and three strikes for Johansson, and he's got back-to-back -back strikeouts to bring the White Sox now to two outs. So after giving up a Double and a single, and allowing two runs to score in this first inning. Johansson has now come back and struck out the last two hitters. Now stepping up to the plate is Will Swanson, who takes the first pitch low and outside for ball one. So 
Johansson looks in there. The leg lift and the pitch. And this one's fouled off to the right side for strike two. Johansson been able to command the strike zone in the game so far. As he's only thrown a few, a few balls, I believe. And the third pitch, the off-speed pitch gets Swanson ahead of it, and that's in there for strike two. One, two, now the count. Takes a look back at Groves. The pitch, and that's strike three. Swanson goes down looking for the final out of the inning. Three straight strikeouts for Johansson to end that one for the White Sox, but not before the Braves were able to get a couple of runs tacked on the board. We go to the top of the second, Braves leading the White Sox 2-1. to one. Top of the second inning, Braves leading the White Sox 2-1. to one. And I just realized that I never went over the Braves' defense behind the right-hander, Bennett Adams. Behind the plate for Adams is going to be the catcher, Cooper Hutchinson. Over at first base, Webb Lewis, second baseman, Lee Pierce. Over at short, Alex Granger, third baseman, Oliver Zinn. Out in the outfield in left, we have Keen Robertson in center field, Henry Groves, and in right field, rounding it out, Will Swanson. So apologies for that. And top of the second inning, we start first pitch is outside for ball one. It's going to be the third baseman, Bryson Knowles, the fifth hitter for the White Sox here in the top of the second. And he looks at the second pitch that goes in there for a strike. Adams able to finish that last inning off by a pickoff attempt, a strikeout, and a throwdown from his catcher, Hutchinson. And that one's just runs a bit outside for ball two. 2-1, two, now the count. The leg lift and the pitch, and that one runs high for Adams. Ball three, hitters count now. Four Knowles, three and one. And that one low and inside for ball four. It's gonna be the first walk of the day for Bennett Adams. And a leadoff walk for the White Sox in the top of the second inning. Runner at first base now in Knowles. Adams now facing Will Landers. And the first pitch is high for ball, for ball one. We know Adams has a good pickoff move as he got, he caught Fowler in the pickoff last inning. This time he's going to go to the plate. And it's strike one. Will Landers staring that one down. 
Adams not even going to set, going to throw over to first base, try and get Knowles cheating, but Knowles slides back into first safely. Adams trying to work fast here, and the slide step pitches in the dirt for ball two. 2-1 two, goes the count. Braves in the red jersey color with the white number and lettering and the White Sox and the all black color with the white lettering. And that pitch runs outside for ball three. Three one now the count. Adams was just in this position. The last batter Knowles ended up walking him. See if this does the same and he does. Back to back walks for Bennett Adams and Will Landers gets on the first base safely. Now coming up to the plate, the seventh hitter, Kyle Economids. And it's gonna be a quick mound visit between Adams and catcher Fowler, or excuse me, catcher Hutchinson. A quick infield meeting to get everybody situated making sure we know where we're going on wherever the ball is hit as we have runners on first and second, no outs. As the White Sox are up to bat, they trail the Braves two to one. And first pitch to Economics is in there for ball one. Adams losing Trouble of his command here in this second inning. And this one is in there for strike one, trying to come back from the back-to-back -back walks. Braves got things started with one hit a single in the first inning by Lehan. He was able to get around on a few throwing errors by the Braves. This one's hit back to the pitcher, Adams. He throws it over to third baseman Zinn and Tried to get the runner, Economids run into first, but not in time. Nice scoop though by the first baseman, Lewis, but is gonna be a fielder's choice. Economids gets to first base. So now runners on first and second with one out now for the Braves. Adams able to help his case that one with that grounder getting hit right back up the middle. Now it's the eight hole hitter, Thomas Gillenshaw, and he takes the first pitch in for strike one. Gillenshaw struggled with the hit from Bennett Adams up the middle in the first inning. Didn't field it cleanly and that gave Granger enough time to get to second base, or Granger enough time to score, excuse me, for that first run for the Braves. Now the 0-1 count. That one runs outside for ball one. Gillenshaw with a big moment here for his team with runners at first and second and one out. You wonder if he elects to put a bunt down to try and advance runners to second and third. And that one gets by the catcher, Hutchinson. Goes all the way to the backstop from the pitch from Adams that took a bounce in the dirt. And that advanced the runners cleanly on the wild pitch. Second and third, one out. 2-1, the count to Gillenshaw. Now with runners a second and third, Gillenshaw looks and swing and a miss. Tried to chase that one by Adams. Adams caught him off guard there with the timing, and that's strike two. 2-2 two, two now the count, and Adams letting his second baseman Pierce know that he doesn't need to hold that runner at second base. Looks in, 2-2 two, two count, one out, the leg lift and the pitch. Swing and a miss by Gillenshaw for strike three. Just couldn't hold up that high heater 
from Adams. That's the second out of the game for Bennett Adams in the second out of the inning for the White Sox. White Sox still threatening here with runners at second and third. Two outs, though. It's going to be their nine-hole hitter, Owen Smith, up to the plate. He swings at the first pitch and misses for strike one. The leg lift and the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike two to Smith. After those back-to-back -back walks, Adams has started to find his zone again. Now with the 0-2 count, two outs. And the pitch to Smith. He laid off that one, off speed in the dirt. Good decision, ball one, one and two now the count. Takes a look at his runners. The leg lift and the pitch from Adams. And this one's hit to the third baseman, Zinn. He didn't look at it. He tried to just pick it off the ground and unfortunately got right by him. But the throw home was able to get the runner coming around to score in Landers. Bryson Knowles, the guy over at third base, was able to score easily. But the runner at second, who came around after that ball got by Zinn, tried to get into home. And he was tagged at home by Hutchinson for the third out of the inning. No, we're back. We're good. And we go to the bottom of the second, tied at two between the Braves and the White Sox. Bottom of the second inning, we are tied at two between the Braves and the White Sox. It's going to be the Braves batting here in this bottom of the second inning. It's going to be seven, eight, nine hitters for the Braves. Keen Robertson, the left fielder, leading them off. Joe Hansen back on the mound for his second inning of work. His first pitch runs inside for ball one. Crazy ending to that top of the second we just had is Owen Smith, the 9 here, was able to hit a single over down the third base line by Zinn. But it was a great throw by the left fielder, Robertson, to get the runner at home and Landers, who tried to get all the way home from second base. That second pitch from Johansson is a ball for ball two. 2-0 two now the count. And he shakes his head no. Home plate umpire Byron Jeter to that outside pitch for ball three. Robertson now, I'm sure, is taken all the way. And this one from Johansson is in there for strike one. Robertson did go ahead and take a hack at it. Now the count runs to three and one. Johansson able to end that bottom of the first inning off. Really good start after giving up those two runs. Had three straight strikeouts to end that inning. But he's going to lead off. This one with a walk to Keen Robertson, four straight balls. 
or five pitches, four balls, one strike. And it's gonna be a leadoff walk for the Braves in the bottom of the second inning. Johansson now with a runner on, has to work from the stretch and throws in the pitch and it runs inside to second baseman Lee Pierce. Pierce the, the lefty in the box. I'm sure he's a switch hitter. I'll go ahead and double check that next time he's in the field, see if he is left-handed. And he comes around to bunt, but backs away at the last minute. And that pitch is in there for strike one. One and one now the count to Pierce. Johansson taking a look over at first base and Robertson and delivers and Pierce swings at that one way high and outside and that's strike two. So Johansson getting a little lucky with these aggressive swings from the Braves. Now the count runs to one and two. Tries to pick off attempt over at first base in Robertson, but he slides back in safely. Don't worry about it, I got it. You focus on... Oh. One and two, now the count, and another pickoff attempt over at first base, and Robertson slides back in safely. Joe Hansen with another nice pickoff attempt, both these right-handers. Some really nice moves to first and second. And Robertson taking one more step off that bag, and he's off. Swing and a miss from Pierce. That's strike three. But Robertson does get in safely as the tag from the shortstop, Lejon, was not in there in time. Kind of turned the opposite way, too as Robertson slid in. Lejon turned the opposite way to try and tag him rather than trying to tag him to the left in the same base path that Robertson was stealing in. Now it's going to be Cooper Hutchinson, the catcher for the Braves up to bat, and he takes the first pitch low for ball one. Leg lift and a pitch, and he hits it over the right side. It's first baseman Smith who gets it and goes over to first base, tagging it for the second out of the inning. Robertson able to get to third on that ground out from Hutchinson. So a leadoff walk, but has retired the last two batters, now bringing up the leadoff hitter for the Braves, shortstop Alex Granger, who doubled to lead off the hitting for the Braves. And swings at the first pitch, fouls it over the right side for strike one. Really heads up base running there from Robertson as he saw the ball hit to the right side and immediately took off to third base. Now setting up possibly a run on a wild pitch or a passed ball. Two outs, Scott, score tied at two. Johansson with the leg lift and the pitch. A swing and a miss by Granger, and that's strike two. Johansson able to work his way back from that leadoff walk to end the inning. Has four strikeouts on the game already through five outs for the White Sox. Been dominant on the mound. The leg lift and the pitch, and this one's hit to the left side. Shortstop Lejon grounds it. Throws it over the first baseman, Smith, and it's going to be safe. Granger beats out the run. Lejon sat back on that grounder, didn't run up and try and ground it, and it gave Granger enough time to get to first, and that actually scored him a run on that. We have an RBI single for Alex Granger, and that brings up the pitcher, Bennett Adams. Now with two outs, a runner at first base. Johansson thought he got out of the inning with the grounder to shortstop, which is not in time for the speed from Alex Granger running down that first base line. And Johansson's going to respect it. 
see if he's got a move or two, but does step off the mound, and here's the move. And Granger goes back into first base, standing up safely. 3-2 now. The Braves lead the White Sox in the bottom of the second in this post Oak Little League playoffs. Johansson with a slide step pitch. This one's hit to the left side and gets through the shortstop and third baseman hole. And it's going to be Granger going all the way into third base safely. And while he does, Adams is going to get over to second base. Heads up base running for Bennett Adams on that one. As he saw Landers coming up, throwing to third base and immediately ran to second base. Now runners at second and third. Now two outs for the Braves. Adams trying to set him up well for himself on the mound. Back-to-back -back singles for the pitcher, Bennett Adams. Now that brings up the three-hole hitter, the center fielder, Henry Groves. Leg lift from Johansson, and the pitch runs outside for ball one. Groves 0 for 1, but he was able to get on base from the error from the shortstop, or from the third base Knowles, the third baseman Knowles back in the first inning. And this one swing on and hit in the left field. That one does go foul, though, for Groves. As he went up and had to had to go up high to get that ball, as that pitch from Johansson ran really high, but Groves wanted a piece of it, went up and pulled it down that left field line, just a little foul. Count runs one and one. And that off-speed pitch is a ball. Johansson jumps up on the pitcher's mound as he really wanted Byron Jeter, the home plate umpire, to call a strike on that one, but the count goes to two and one for Groves now. Leg lift in the pitch from Johansson. Groves hits this one over in the right field. Second baseman Dominguez running back on it, and this one's gonna fall right in the hole. Right into no man's land between the second baseman and center fielder, and he's gonna try and get second, and he gets out. Groves trying to be aggressive on the base pass, and he gets called out on that one, running to second base, and could get an argue, but that was the field umpire, umpire Robert Munoz calling that play out at second. Two run score though, four, or three run score for the Braves, excuse me. That takes us now to the top of the fifth inning, Braves leading the White Sox five to two. You're listening to Post Oak Little League Baseball here on Vibe Live. Top of the third inning, Braves leading the White Sox 5-2 to two after that big three-run bottom of the second inning for the Braves that scored Robertson, Granger, and Adams. 
off a two RBI single from Henry Gross to end the inning, got caught trying to get to second on that single. And we go to the bottom of the third. It's gonna be the one, two, three hitters for the White Sox to lead off. It's gonna be the shortstop, Kalino Lejon. Here, stepping into the batter's box, right-hander Bennett Adams back on the mound for his third inning of work. And the delivery and the, pitch, and the first pitch is there. First strike one. Lejon one for one on the day with a single. Back at the top of the first inning. Got one by the shortstop and third baseman, Granger and Zinn. And that one fouled off his foot for strike two. O2 now the count to Kalino Leon. And that one hits for ball one, the speed pitch. Adam tried to get him swinging on that one. No bite from Leon. And that off speed low for ball two. Leon being patient at the plate. Waiting for that pitch to hit. 2-2 two, two count. That one from Adams runs outside. So after two straight strikes, now Adams in the full count. The Colino Lejon, the leadoff hitter for the White Sox. 3-2 the count and the pitch. Swung on and fouled down the left side. Third baseman Zinn running over to it. So we reset. White Sox have been able to get one run in each of the last two innings by their leadoff batter. And that off speed runs low for Adams, ball four. So Leon leads off the top of the third with a walk. After falling behind 0-2 to the pitcher Bennett Adams, he works his way back to a leadoff walk. Now up for the White Sox catcher, Patrick Fowler. 0 for 1 on the day, but got on base on an error from the shortstop Ranger back in the first inning. And the runner first takes off Leon. The throw from Hutchinson tries to get down there, but not in time. And it's going to be a stolen base for Kalina Lejon, setting up runner at second, runner in scoring position with no outs for the White Sox. This is going to be a strike to Fowler, though. And. Stepping off the mound, Adams trying to get Leon, but slides back into second safely. Another pickoff attempt as he's try, trying to get Leon sleeping as he's taking his steps to lead off the bag. But Leon not buying it. He's getting back into second base safely. Adams trying to catch him off guard here. Patrick Fowler at the plate and the slide step from Adams. And he fouls it over the bench for strike two. 0-2 oh, now the count to Patrick Fowler. Ben Adams was just in this situation with the last batter, Leon. And Leon was able to work his way into a walk. Leg lift in the pitch and the off speed. Great hit by the pitcher, Braden Johansson, trying to help his case down here tonight. Scores from third easily. And that one just over the glove of Groves out in center field. Still no outs for the Braves here in top of the third inning. Now they only trail by one, five to four. And the first pitch to John Dominguez is in there for strike one. 
Dominguez 0 for 1. Struck out back in the top of the first to end the inning. And this one runs outside for ball one. Count goes to one and one. That one's in the dirt. Hutchinson able to block it though, going down that third base line and it's gonna leave the runner Johansson stranded at third. The count goes to two and one. This one swung on, hit to the pitcher Adams, but Adams not fielding it cleanly. And it's gonna be Dominguez running that out for a single. From the misfield, misfielded play from Adams. That one was like a bunt hit back to the pitcher. Man, Adams, and now we're gonna have a coach's visit. See if we have a pitch and change here. Or if we're gonna try and settle down the right-hander. Is just going to be a quick mountain meeting, try and calm down the right hander Adams as he's had two errors in this inning and the Braves have scored two runs. Brings up the number five hole hitter Bryson Knowles, led off the second inning with the walk. Now with the runners on the corners, we'll see what Knowles can do. White Sox trailing four to five, but have scored two in this inning and have scored one in both of the previous innings before this. And taken off from first base is Dominguez and there is no throw attempt from Hutchinson and Dominguez gets into second base safely on the defensive indifference. Sets up two runners in scoring position now for the White Sox and Dominguez and Johansson. Adams now working and this one's low and outside to Knowles for ball one, one, one now the count. Adams taking a look at his runners, the leg lift and the pitch. And that off-speed pitch is in there. Nulls caught their standing for strike two. Count goes to one and two. It's only the fifth hit of the inning, or the fifth hitter of the inning for the Braves, but have scored two runs and that off-speed, Nulls just taps it into right behind second base. The second baseman, Pierce, gets under it for the first out of the inning. Little pop up to the second baseman, Pierce. And Knowles is out, leaving his runner strand to second and third, but only one out in the inning. Two runs have been scored by the White Sox in this inning alone. That brings up the six hole hitter, the left fielder, Will Landers. He also walked in that second inning, part of that back-to-back -back walks from Adams. Looks in to the call from Hutchinson, the leg lift and the pitch. This one swung on a hit into left field. It's gonna drop right into center fielder Groves. He's gonna come up throwing and it's gonna try and get Landers going, but Landers is gonna get over to first base on the single, RBI single for Will Landers. So that's gonna score Johansson from third. And Dominguez rounding third, thought about testing the arm of Groves, but decided not to. We now have, rather than just having that infield single. So another RBI single for the White Sox. Gillenshaw able to score Dominguez 
on that one from third, and Landers is going to go into third. White Sox now have taken the lead, 6-5, to five, off that RBI single. Adams now facing the ninth hitter of the inning. It's first baseman Owen Smith. He had a single to end that second inning. Swung on and missed from Owens for strike one. Two outs for the Braves, but they have given up four runs in this inning. All four of the hitters that started this inning have scored. Swung on and missed by Smith, and that's strike two. O2 oh, now the count, two outs. Adams can line the damage, and he does, striking out Owen Smith to end that inning. Nine batters faced and four runs scored from the White Sox. Now gives them the lead as we go to the bottom of the third inning. White Sox lead over the Braves six to five. Bottom of the third inning, White Sox leading over the Braves six to five. It's gonna be the four, five, and six hitters leading off for the Braves. It's first baseman, left-hander, Webb Lewis. Lewis is 0 for 1 on the game with a strikeout in the first inning. And the first pitch from Johansson runs high for ball one. Johansson on the mound for his third inning of work. Five strikeouts through six outs for the pitcher. Swung on a miss from Lewis to strike one. White Sox able to score four runs in that last inning. See if the Braves can keep, keep, keep up with them here as Lewis fouls this one back to the backstop for strike two. Braves have scored two runs in the first inning, three runs in the second. White Sox scoring one in the first, one in the second, and four in the third. Now brings us to our 6-5 White Sox lead. And that off-speed pitch is in there. Froze Lewis on that one. And Johansson recording his fifth strikeout of the game in the first out of the inning. Back in the first inning, Johansson went through and struck out all three of these batters, four, five, and six. We'll see if he can do it here as he now faces Oliver Zinn, the third baseman for the Braves, who takes the first pitch outside for ball one. Next pitch, Zinn takes low outside for ball two. I 
have had at least one run scored in every inning by both teams. This one's popped up in the infield. Looks like shortstop Lejon getting under it and gets it recording the second out of the inning. Two outs now for the White Sox. Brings up number six hitter, right fielder Will Swanson, who went down looking to end that first inning. And swings at the first pitch over to shortstop Lejon, who fields it, throws over first baseman Smith, and he gets that out. One, two, three inning for the White Sox. First one, two, three inning we've had this game, and we go to the top of the fourth. White Sox leading over the Braves, six to five. One runs outside for ball three, three, one, now the count. Three, one, the count. That one's in there for strike two to Leon. Full count to the leadoff hitter, Lejon. The pitch from Adams is low, and that's ball four. Adams leading off this fourth inning as he led off the third with a walk to Lejon. He's definitely going to be mindful of Lejon on the base pass now as the leadoff man was able to steal both second and third in the third inning. See how Adams attacks this one. Now coming up to the plate, catcher Patrick Fowler. The first pitch is in the dirt, and Lahone runs and tries to steal, but got caught slipping. And it's going to be a throw from Hutchinson at second base, but that gave Lahone enough time to get back to first. So no damage done. And that first pitch to Fowler was a ball. Lejon was wanting to go, but kind of tripped. Fowler pops this one in the outfield. It's the catcher, or center field, excuse me, Groves, who gets under it and records the first out of the inning for the Braves. Adams trying to get out of this inning with no runs scored, has yet to do so. So the White Sox have had one run in the first, one run second, four in the third, and Lahon takes off, and he's into second standing up. Not even a chance on that throw from Hutchinson. It's Lahon's speed just outran that ball. 1-0 the count, and that one inside for strike one to the pitcher, Braden Johansson. Johansson over one with an RBI triple, or uh, excuse me, one for two with an RBI triple he had in the third inning. This one he fouls off his foot for strike two. One, two. Now the count. Johansson able to get that RBI triple in the third that scored Fowler. That was the fourth run scored, and then an error from the first, from the pitcher Adams got Johan got Johansson to score from third base on that next play as Dominguez hit a chopper to the pitcher. And Dominguez was able to score on the RBI single from Landers later to get all four of those runs in from all four of the leadoff hitters. White Sox leading six to five. This one's fouled off the catcher's mask from Johansson. Count still at one and two. Lejon was off on that pitch from Adams. That has to go back into second base safely. And home plate umpire, Byron Jeter, gonna give Hutchinson a moment real quick to catch his breath after that one got fouled off his face. One and two the count, one out, runner on second base 
for the White Sox. It's going to be a time called from Johansson. He's going to step back in the batter's box and get ready. And Adams is going to take a look over at second base in Lahon. But he's not leading off by much. And Adams stares at him, throws the pitch. And this one's popped up into foul territory over the left side. And Robertson, the left fielder, just not able to get to it in time. It's going to be a fouled ball. White Sox get a break on that one. Looks like Robertson's a little bit shaken up on that one as he runs into that left field fence. He gives his coaches in the dugout the thumbs up. As he trots back into the outfield. Count still remains one and two to Braden Johansson. The leg lift and the pitch runs into the dirt. Hutchinson keeping it in front of him, though, keeping the runner at second base. And Lejon, the count runs two and two. As Pearson, Lejon having a nice conversation at second base. As Johansson stares that one right down the middle. That's going to be strike three, second out of the inning for the Braves. It's going to be the fourth strikeout, or fifth strikeout, excuse me, of the game for Adams. And the first pitch to Dominguez is low for ball one. Dominguez 0 for 1 with a run scored in that third inning. He struck out to end the first, but was able to hit a chopper of the pitcher Adams in that third inning. And he came up with an aired throw that allowed a run to score. Really high on that one from Adams. And the count runs to 2-0. and Runner on third is Lejon. This one's hit to the right side. Second baseman Pierce grounds it, throws it over to Lewis, and that records the final out of the inning. One runner stranded for the White Sox in Lejon at third. And the Braves are going to get out of that one with no run scored by the White Sox. We go to the bottom of the fourth inning. White Sox leading over the Braves 6-5. to five.
bottom of the fourth inning. White Sox leading the Braves 6-5. to five. Braden Johansson on the mound for his fourth inning of work, and his first pitch is in there for strike one. Seven, eight, nine hitters for the Braves. Keen Robertson swinging and missing at that second one for strike two. 0-2 oh, two now the count. Johansson working fast here in this fourth inning and a swing and a miss by Robertson and that's strike three. It's gonna be the sixth strikeout of the game for Brayden Johansson. Other than giving up those five runs early in those first and second innings, he's been absolutely dominant since then. Now coming up to the plate, second baseman Lee Pierce. 0 for 1 on the game with a strikeout back in the second. Takes the first pitch high for ball one. Johansson able to get out of that third inning. Retiring the side, 1, 2, 3. As Byron Jeter, home plate umpire, shakes his head from that pitch that comes in as ball two. 2-0 two now the count. Johansson almost hits. Pierce on this one. Count goes now to 3-0. and oh. Johansson has one walk on the game, or on the day. It was to Keen Robertson, his last strikeout victim. And that pitch is in there for strike one to Pierce. He was looking all the way. 3-1, now the count, one out to Lee Pierce. Johansson delivers, and it runs high into Pierce. Second baseman kind of ducked down and got the ball four call as he runs over to first base to get things started for the Braves here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Nine hole hitter coming up now. The catcher, Cooper Hutchinson. And Pierce slides back into second or first base safely off that pickoff attempt from Johansson. Hutchinson 0 for 1 on the day with a ground out to first. Swings at the first pitch. This one's popped up over the right side. The catcher, Fowler, running to it. But Fowler was just couldn't squeeze it as he had the ball in his glove but lost it on the squeeze. So those catcher's mitts can sometimes be a little finicky, you really gotta do squeeze it at that right time. If not, it's just gonna bounce off the glove, just like we saw there. Pierce jumping up and down first base and he almost gets picked off there as he was mid air on that pickoff attempt from Johansson, but barely gets his hand back in there safely. Johansson taking a look, delivers to the plate. This one gets by catcher Fowler, and Pierce gonna get to second base on the pass ball. One, one, now the count. For catcher Cooper Hutchinson. Runner at second. That one runs outside for ball three. So after retiring Robertson with the strikeout, Johansson has really struggled with his command here. The count now at two and one. And a pickoff attempt, but no throw from Johansson. As a shortstop Lejon hadn't gotten to the bag yet. The leg lift and the pitch, and a bun attempt from Hutchinson, but popped up over the backstop. No attempt by the catcher Fowler, and the count goes to two and two. Pierce over second, Johansson is gonna Step off the mound, take a look over there. On the pickoff attempt, no throw though. 
This time the leg lift and the pitch to the plate. This is a line drive into right field. The second baseman, Dominguez, fielding it. But Hutchinson is into first base with a single. Nice line drive single there by the catcher, Cooper Hutchinson. Brings runners on the corners now and one out. We have a quick mound meeting with the coach and Joe Hansen. Runners on the corners with one out. With one out as the infield comes in. Gets the call from their coach. Interesting if it's a ground ball here, if they bring the corners in, try and stop the runner from coming home, or if they try for the double play, or if they just try for the easy out. And it looks like I have a pitching change here. Is that's gonna be it for Braden Johansson off that single. Coming into the mound, coming onto the mound now is number 27, Kalino Lejon, the catcher. And it looks like Brayden Johansson just gonna take some grounders over at short. It's just gonna be shortstop to pitcher, pitcher to shortstop substitution here. We're gonna take a quick break while Lejon warms up. We're in the bottom of the fourth inning, one out. White Sox still leading over the Braves, six to five. Bottom of the fourth inning, new pitcher on the mound. It's gonna be Kalino Lejon. We go to the fifth inning. White Sox leading the Braves six to five. Top of the fifth inning, Bennett Adams on for his fifth inning of work. It's the right-handers warming up Hutchinson who got caught off that first base side and got doubled off. There as he took a little bit to warm up there. The line for Braden Johansson, the White Sox starting pitcher, finished the day throwing three and two thirds inning, gave up six hits, five runs, two walks and six strikeouts on the day for the right-hander. Adams and the Braves now working to try and get another no-run inning as they had in the fourth. The White Sox led off the first inning with a run, second inning with a run, and then in the third inning had four runs and then nothing in that last inning in the fourth inning. 
First batter is Bryson Knowles for the White Sox. Takes that first pitch in for strike one. It's going to be the five, six, and seven hitters for the White Sox in this inning. Knowles taking that one outside for ball two. 1-1 one, one, now the count. And that off-speed pitch in the dirt for Adams, ball two. 2-1 two, now the count. Adams working fast. The top of the fifth inning. Almost the exact same pitch as he just had, the off-speed. Just above the dirt, ball three, one now the count. Cutting out there. 3-1 now the count. And just missed that one. It looks like it is going to be a walk, though. Bryson Knowles running down to first base with a leadoff walk for the White Sox in this top of the fifth inning. It was every – yeah, you're good. It was everything. That brings up now Will Landers, the left fielder. He's one for two on the day with an RBI single. And he's gonna pop out, he's gonna pop pop out, excuse me, to the left fielder Robertson for the first out of the inning. Brings up right fielder Kyle Economids, who had that great catch and throw to end that bottom of the fourth inning. They caught Cooper Hutchinson off first base and got the double play. Swings at the first one, it's a chopper over the second baseman, the flip and the throw to first. The scoop from Lewis, but it's not in time. A lot of the Braves were running off the field already, but the field umpire Robert Munoz elects Kyle Economic safe at first base. So fielder's choice. Economics got on in the second with the fielder's choice as well. Two outs here for the Braves now, and they have to face Thomas Gillenshaw. Gillenshaw taking the first pitch in. That off-speed sailed right in there for strike one from Adams. Gillenshaw one for two with an RBI single he had back in the third inning that scored that fourth and final run that we've seen from the White Sox, or the sixth and final run, excuse me. Swung on a miss from Gillenshaw there, and that's strike two. 0-2 oh, two now the count. Two outs for Bennett Adams. Trying to get out of this one, he's gonna reset. After all those runs scored early, it's been scoreless these last two innings for both teams. And stares that one down for strike three. Third out of the inning, and we go to the bottom of the fifth. White Sox six, Braves five. Bottom of the fifth inning, Kalino Lejon back on the mound for the White Sox as he closed off, as he closed out that fourth inning. Coming in to face the leadoff hitter, Alex Granger, and was able to have him fly out to the outfield on the double play that doubled off Cooper Hutchinson over at first base. 
White Sox leading the Braves six to five here in the bottom of the fifth inning. It's gonna be two, three, and four hitters for the Braves leading off the pitcher Bennett Adams. Takes first pitch outside for ball one. And this one's hit up the middle over the second baseman, Pierce, or Dominguez. And he gets Adams out there, and Adams can't believe it. It's Adams thought he had beat it out there, but Dominguez able to throw over to the first baseman, Smith. Let's get the first out of the inning. Brings up the three-hole hitter, center fielder, Henry Groves, for the Braves. As umpire's gonna take a quick chat about this, but not sure what they're talking about here. Yeah, I think they were just confirming that it is gonna be an out for Bennett Adams. He did not beat that throw out from the second baseman, Dominguez. One out, Henry Groves up to bat. He's one for two. Had an RBI single back in the second inning. And Groves takes the first pitch outside from Lejon for ball one. No run scored since that top of the third inning for the White Sox where they had those four runs. Since then, neither team has got nothing. And three straight balls Henry Groves here from Colino Lejon. And the pitch is inside for ball four. Groves with the walk for the Braves. They let off the fourth inning with a walk as well after Robertson struck out. Pierce had walked and he was stranded at third after that pop out double play into right field. Well, Kyle Namitz fielded it and threw out the runner at first. Groves taking off from first base. He's going to get into second base standing up as that ball hit the dirt from Lejon. Ball one. Give it a wild pitch for Groves as he gets to second on that one. The left-hander Webb Lewis now up. For the Braves, he's 0 for 2 with a couple of strikeouts. Left-handed cleanup hitter has an opportunity here to tie up the game with one swing. And takes that pitch inside for ball two. Six straight balls thrown from Lejon. See if he watches this one. This one swung on over to the shortstop. Johansson and Johansson not able to ground it, and that's going to score Henry Gross from second base. Should have been a grounder, but it's going to be an error on the shortstop Johansson. And we now have a tied ball game, six to six. It's the Braves score one here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Runner at first base now in Lewis. And that pitch in there for ball one to Oliver Zinn. Zinn 0 for 2 with the strikeout on the game. Strikeout and a flyout. That pitch fouled back to the backstop for strike one as Lejon seemed to find found his command back again. And that one, the hell in the pickoff attempt over at first base. And Lewis slides back in safely. Two one, now the count. And that pitch from Lahan is in. Four strike two, two two, now the count. Apologies on the pronunciation. I just got with the dad of Kalino Lejon. And it is 
Lejon. So apologies for that pronunciation there. And I swung on a miss from Zinn, and that's strike three. Second out of the inning for the White Sox. It's also the first strike out of the game for Lejon. A pitch runs outside for ball one. Will Swanson up to bat here now for the Braves. He's 0 for 2 with the strikeout and a ground out on the day. Lehan, that one's hit into right field, and that's going to get in there in front of Economids. Economids not able to get to that ball in time, and it's going to be a single for Swanson. Lehan had a pop out there and could have been the third out of the inning, but the right fielder, Ikanam, is just not able to get to it. And we're going to have a quick pitcher's meeting at the mound. Just a quick meeting. And Lehan is back up there on the mound. Runners at first and second for the Braves. Two outs coming up to the plate is their seventh hitter, Keen Robertson. He's 0 for 1 with a strikeout and a walk. Also scored the fifth run for the Braves back in the second inning. Takes that pitch in the dirt for ball one. One run scored in this inning for the Braves. Brings us to a tie ball game, six to six, here in the bottom of the fifth. That pitch from Lahan is low for ball two. 2-0 two -oh now the count. Runners at first and second is Lewis over a second base and Swanson over at first. The leg lift and the pitch, and that's in there for strike one. First base coach can't believe it. <laughs> see. Throws his hands up to his head. 2-1 now the count. To Robertson. That one high and outside. To Robertson for ball three. 3-1 three, goes the count. Lehan with a walk in this third inning. His only walk allowed and not going to be here is Throws that one in for strike two. The count runs full. Now for the right-hander, Kalino Lejon. Full count, two outs. And a swing and a miss by Robertson. Got him on the strikeout to end the inning. Lejon walks off, giving up one run, but able to get two strikeouts in that inning alone. The Braves are able to score one off the error from the shortstop in Johansson. We go to the top of the sixth inning. Scores tied to six. Hey, and coming on the pitch is gonna be the first baseman, number five, Webb Lewis. Got a lefty coming on for the Braves here. In this top of the sixth inning, we are tied one to one. So left-hander takes a little bit more to warm up. And it's like Bennett Adams is taking ground balls. He's going to be, I believe it's shortstop. Oh 
So Bennett Adams taking over at shortstop for Alex Granger. As Webb Lewis, the left-hander still warming up, making sure. And yeah, number 19, that's going to be Granger. So Granger goes over to third base for Zinn. So some substitutions for the Braves. It's going to be Lewis in the pitch now. For the Braves, a left-handed first baseman. Moving over to first base is number three, John Massey. And this one's popped up in the outfield, running over to it. Right fielder and or left fielder and center fielder, Robertson and Groves. And it's going to be Robertson, the left fielder, who takes it over and records the first out of the inning. Or excuse me, it's gonna be the second out of the inning. Owen Smith let off the inning with an out. Now brings up the catcher, Patrick Fowler, in for the White Sox. Webb Lewis looks in and the pitch is in there for strike one. Bennett Adams finishes his day with five innings pitched, gave up five hits, six runs, had five walks and five strikeouts to close out his outing. This one's popped up into right field, right, or actually, yep, right in right field. Pierce, the second baseman, going back and gets under it in the shallow right field to record the final out of the inning. We go to the bottom of the sixth inning. Score still tied. Brave six, White Sox six. You're watching Post Oak Little League playoffs here on Vibe Live. Bottom of the sixth inning, tied at six between the White Sox and the Braves. The winner of this game tonight advances to the championship game on Saturday for this Juniors Post Oak Little League playoff bracket. The loser plays in a loser's bracket on Thursday night, which we'll be broadcasting as well. Braves coming into this game with an 8-5 and five record. Good for third best, the junior standings. And the White Sox coming in with a record of 6-5-2. and two. Lehan back on the mound for his third inning of work. And the first pitch is in there for strike one. It's going to be Lee Pierce leading it off for the Braves. Swung on and miss for strike two. Pierce is 0-1. for 1 with a walk and a strikeout on the game. And the check swing fouled over the, thir over the third base side. Pierce stays alive here. Braves were able to score one in the bottom of the fifth inning after Lejon gave up a walk and it was a error from the shortstop that got 
Groves all the way in to score. And Pierce goes down looking for strike three. Slehan's third strikeout of the game here tonight for the right-hander for the junior White Sox. Now comes up the nine-hole hitter catcher, Cooper Hutchinson. He takes the first pitch inside for ball one. Hutchinson is one for two on the day with a single up the middle and hits one over the pitcher, Lehan, who grounds it, flips it over the first baseman, Smith, for the second out of the inning. And now the outfield is back up. It's the leadoff hitter for the Braves, the shortstop, Alex Granger. He's two for three on the day with a double and an RBI single. And he takes the first pitch inside from Lehan for ball one. Score is tied at six. We're in the bottom of the sixth. The Braves are batting, swung on and missed from Granger for strike one. One and one now the count. Fouled back into the backstop by Granger for strike two. Five runs scored early for the Braves, and they sat at that five run total until this bottom of the fifth inning where they scored one to tie it up off an error from the shortstop, Johansson. That one goes over the head of Granger and goes to the backstop for ball two. Twos across the board. As they say, deuce is wild. Lejon gets his sign from catcher Fowler and goes into his delivery. And the pitch runs high outside for ball three. Brings the count full. Now three and two count with two outs. It's going to be a quick time as a tennis ball has came on to the field. Umpire Robert Munoz got that up and throwing it back over the fence. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Granger went, had to go up to get that one. That one was way high over his head. And Lejon finishes the inning. One, two, three. We go to the top of the sixth inning, or top of the seventh inning, excuse me. Still tied at six. White Sox six, Brave six. You're watching Post Oak Little League Junior Playoffs here on Vibe Live.
Top of the seventh inning. Tied at six between the Braves and White Sox. Winner of this game will advance to the championship game on Sunday. Webb Lewis on the mound for his second inning of work, and the first pitch is low and inside for ball one. It's going to be the three, four, and five hitters for the White Sox here. Brayden Johansson leading it off, and he takes that pitch in there for strike one. Johansson one for three on the day with an RBI triple back in the third inning. See if he can get something going to lead off the seventh inning for his White Sox. Takes that pitch inside for ball two, two, one. Now the count. That pitch runs outside to Lewis for ball three. Three, one, now the count. Lewis coming on into the game in the bottom of the sixth inning was able to get a one, two, three inning back in that sixth inning. Swing and a miss from Johansson. Brings the count full, three and two now, no outs. Johansson did strike out in the fourth inning. That was his last plate appearance. See what the right-hander can do now. Johansson led the game off pitching for the White Sox. Struck out a lot of batters. That pitch runs outside and Johansson is on for a walk. 4-1 goes the count, and it's a leadoff walk for the White Sox to start this seventh inning. The Braves are going to have a chance here in the bottom of the seventh if the White Sox are able to score. It won't be a walk-off. The Braves will still have a chance as we're in the top of the seventh inning. Johansson getting a nice lead, and that hits the dirt and a throw down to first, but... Johansson's back in first base safely. It's John Dominguez in the batter's box here, taking that first pitch in the dirt for ball one. On the day he's 0 for 3, it's a strikeout and a ground out. And the pickoff attempt from Lewis. And Johansson's back into first safely. 1 0 the count, runner at first base. For the White Sox, cleanup hitter John Dominguez up. And taking off is Johansson, and he slides into second base safely. Didn't even need to. He got there in plenty of time for that stolen base. Have seen a bunch of steals on the bases from these White Sox. It's the third steal of the game as we had two from the pitcher, Kalino Lejon, back in the third inning. And now we see Johansson's wheels in the top of the seventh. Now runner in scoring position, no outs, and that one's just going to hit Dominguez on the back of the leg, and he's going to trot down, taking a small limp over to first base, but smiling as that one just got him there on that backside. It's going to take a few seconds to try and walk this one off, but that is going to be a walk and a hit by pitch for Webb Lewis. That's going to bring out the coach is going to have a quick mound meeting with him and the infield to discuss how they're going to handle this situation where we have runners at first and second and no outs. It's going to be a quick mound meeting, and Lewis is back on the rubber. Braves coming into this game with an 8-5 record. It's good enough for third in the junior post Oak Little League standings. The White Sox coming in 6-5 and 2. That's good for fifth in the post Oak Little League standings for the junior division. Winner of this game will go on to that championship game on Thursday, or on Saturday, excuse me. And the runners just took off there. I don't know what Hutchinson was thinking behind the plate, but Johansson took off from second and got into third. And while Hutchinson was debating throwing down, Dominguez just took off from first base and got into second. So now we have runners at second and third with no outs. And that pitch is in the dirt for ball two. Lewis struggling here with his command. Was able to get out of that last inning easily, three straight flyouts. 
now here in the top of the seventh, struggling with runners on second and third and no outs. That pitch runs outside for ball three, three and oh. Bryson Knowles, 0 for one on the day with two walks and a run scored back in the second inning. I'm sure Knowles isn't in any hurry to swing at this one. And he takes that fourth pitch outside for ball four. Four straight balls, and that's going to bring Coach out again. Looks like we're going to have a quick pitching change as Lewis is already walking off the mound and handing Coach the ball. He doesn't even want to walk back up there. And he flips the ball over to Bennett Adams. And Adams is going to take the mound again. Going to give Adams a little bit of time to warm up. We'll be right back. We're in the top of the seventh inning. Runners at second and third for the White Sox. And no outs. Top of the second inning, runners at second and third for the White Sox and no outs. They're going to intentionally, oh, they're going to walk. Oh, that was a walk, excuse me. So runners, base is loaded. Excuse me, after three straight walks, a walk, a hit by pitch, and a walk from the lefty Webb Lewis, and he came off the mound. He's back over at first base. And now we have a new pitcher or an old pitcher, Bennett Adams, back on the mound. I thought his day was done, but... We're just talking to some fans as that one's fouled over the right side. The rules here are a little bit different. I'm, I guess you can bring in your starting pitcher back in at least one time into the game, and that's what the Braves coach has elected to do. As Bennett Adams is back on the mound in this top of the seventh inning with bases loaded, no outs. This one's hit to the infield. They're trying to get him at home, but they're not going to get it in time there. And the coach is livid. But he is going to be safe there as they tried to get him at first. Will Landers just put the ball into play. The shortstop Granger went up and got it, came up throwing to home, but it was not in time as Braden Johansson. We saw his speed as he stole a couple of bases this inning. He was able to get home safely, and we repeat everything back over except the White Sox now have a one-run lead, 7-6. to six. And that one's outside for ball one. This one's line drive over the infield. The infield was in. It's going to be Groves, the center fielder, getting into it. But it's going to be Kyle Economids with an RBI single to get another run scored here for the White Sox this top of the seventh inning. As that one, if the infield was playing traditionally, that one would have been an easy pop out, easy fly out, but with the infield in, that ball just got over the shortstop and second baseman's head. Still no outs, bases loaded. White Sox now leading 8-6 to six over the Braves. It's going to be the eight-hole hitter, Thomas Gillenshaw, up. He is one for three with an RBI single and two strikeouts. Tough situation Ben Adams is having to come into here, but 
he's pitched well. I mean, he gave up a ground. It was a grounder to the shortstop and a pop-up into the infield. If his infield wasn't in there, and you know, it possibly could be two outs for the Braves, but not now. This one's popped up over the right side into foul territory. It's going to be 0-2 now for Thomas Gillenshaw. White Sox have two runs scored in this seventh inning. They had yet to score a run before that until the third inning where they scored four runs. They brought their total up to six. And now here in the top of the seventh, getting things going. This one's popped into right field. The catcher, Groves, getting under it, tries to throw to second base to get Landers, but Landers sliding back in safely. It's just going to be one out. Gonna be a pop out, a fly out to center fielder, or to the center fielder Groves by Gillenshaw. No runners advance. It's still gonna be bases loaded, but we have one out. We're gonna have a pitch hitter here. It looks like for the White Sox. Yep, it's gonna be a pitch hitter for the White Sox, number 42, Ben Pylop. Pylop coming in, taking over first baseman Owen Smith. Left-hander stepping into the batter's box. One of the bigger guys we've seen out here in the junior Post Oak Little League. This Pylop takes a couple warm-up swings. The pitch swung on a miss from Pylop for strike one. Adams, the pitch, swung on and missed, strike two for Pylop. Base is loaded. One out for the White Sox, have already scored two in this inning. After the leadoff pitcher, Webb Lewis for the Braves had walked three straight batters to lead off the inning. The leg lift in the pitch, and that's in there, strike three. Pilot backed away, but it was on that inside corner for Adams for the first strike out of the inning. So after giving up a couple of unfortunate runs there, after a grounder and a pop out and a pop up in the infield where the infield was in, couldn't get to it. A little bit of no man's land there. Bennett Adams has come on and gotten two straight outs, a fly out and a strikeout. And now, trying to get this third out of the inning, he's got to face leadoff hitter, Kalino Lejon, who's one for four in the game with a single and two walks. He takes the first pitch outside for ball one. We'll see if Lejon gets the last inning of work here for the White Sox as he's Come on and pitch the last three innings. That pitch is in there for Adams. For strike one, count goes to one and one. The leg lift and the pitch from Adams. Runs outside for ball two, two one now the count. And it looks like they, all the coaches for the Braves wanted that pickoff move from third to go, but it's going to be field umpire Andre Martin. He's calling the runner safe. It's Bryson Knowles. 
Almost got caught there leaning off third base. He's going to slide back in safely. 2-1 now the count to Lejon. Pitches out and it's low for ball three. 3-1 three, now the count. We've seen Adams struggle with his command earlier in this game. He had five walks and five strikeouts. Big spot here. Hitters count for Kalina Lejon. 3-1 the count. He's going to try a little pickoff attempt over to Lewis at first base, but to no avail. White Sox leading the Braves 6-8 to eight here in the top of the seventh inning. 3-1 the count to Lejon. The pitch runs outside. That's ball four, and that's going to walk a run in. So a walk scores in Knowles for the third run scored this inning. The run one, the one run off tying their lead, and it looks like Coach is going to go to the bullpen. That's going to be it for Bennett Adams. As he tried all he could to get out of this one. Tough situation, bringing him in with bases loaded, no outs. And he's going to leave the game. We're going to have a new pitcher up for the Braves. We'll have all that information coming up to you shortly. We're going to take a quick break here. The top of the seventh inning, White Sox leading over the Braves, 9-6 to six with two outs. Top of the seventh inning, two outs. White Sox leading nine to six. It's gonna be Patrick Fowler leading it off. He's actually the ninth hitter this inning for the White Sox. Fouls it over the right side for strike one. It's gonna be Oliver Zinn on the mound for the Braves. Right-hander started his day over at third base and now is on the mound to try and get out of this situation for the Junior Braves as they trail the White Sox nine to six, have given up three runs just in this inning alone. They started the inning with Webb Lewis, the lefty over at first base, walked the first three batters. This one's lined over to shortstop and Adams, Adams grounds it, throws it over second base and Pierce and ends the inning. But three runs scored for the White Sox off three straight walks to the left. The, and all three runners came around to score. Nine to six, White Sox leading the Braves. As we go to the bottom of the seventh inning, you're watching Post Oak Little League here on Vibe Live.
Bottom of the seventh inning. Kalino Lejon on for his fourth inning of work. This one's popped up. The second baseman, Dominguez, over to get it. And he records first out of the inning. It was by Bennett Adams, the pitcher for the Braves, trying to do anything he can. But flying out to start the bottom of the seventh inning. Now coming up to the plate, the 3 0 hitter, Henry Groves. Braves trail by three. This pitch is in there for Lejon for strike one. They're two outs away from having to go to the loser's bracket on Thursday. So we're gonna miss from Groves a strike two. And the White Sox will advance to the championship game here on Saturday. This one's hit to the left side. Shortstop Johansson gets it, but bobbles it. And it's gonna be Dix for the White Sox. And Henry Groves get to first base safely. So the Braves will take that. So the White Sox just gave him a free runner on the base pass with one out. Now the cleanup hitter first baseman, Webb Lewis. He's 0 for 3 with two strikeouts on the day. Takes the first pitch high and inside for ball one. Three runs scored by the White Sox in that last inning. Really has the Braves down here. As they're just two outs away from losing this one. And that one's in there to Lewis for strike one. One and one now the count. The leg lift in the pitch from Lahone. This one's popped up into the infield. It's the shortstop Johansson getting under it this time, making sure not to miss, making up from that error he just had on the previous play. And he records the second out of the inning. So the White Sox one out away here from going to that championship game on Saturday. They came in with a worse record than the Braves, but they were able to put runs together when they needed it. And were able to score four runs in the third and three runs in the seventh. And the Braves have just not been able to catch up. Swing and a miss. That's strike one to Oliver Zinn. Oliver Zinn came on to try and finish that inning for the Braves and did. That pitch is fouled back to the backstop for strike two. It's been a great game between both these two junior ball clubs. Got to really give credit to both these guys for coming out here and putting in the work they did during the regular season and now get to show off all that work here in the playoffs. And swung back and fouled to the backstop for Zinn. The count still stays here one and two as he's battling for the Braves. Try and see if there's anything they can do. I've seen crazier things happen in baseball. Count is one and two, two outs. The leg lift and the pitch. And home plate umpire Byron Jeter shakes his head no. And says it was a little bit high. The count goes to two and two. Twos across the board, deuces wild. Here in the bottom of the seventh inning. The White Sox can end it here. The pitch is way up and outside and they caught the runner stealing and he steals, he's out. Field umpire Andre Martin lifts his hand up, calls it out as the catcher Fowler throws out Henry Groves as he tries to steal second base. He thought that ball was gonna go over the head of the catcher, but the catcher Fowler was able to get it caught Groves in no man's land, threw it down to second. Groves, has already he'd already gone and attempted it and got tagged out to end the game. Wow, what an outing there for both these teams.